apples. They come in all different colors, all the way from the green and red to the dark red to the all green to the yellow. We have the mostly red and we have red. Uh, these are the most popular fruit. Apples are available year round, although their trees mature and give off the fruit in the fall. There's a great storage system that the apple producers have. So we get to enjoy them year round. Now when you're selecting an apple, be sure that you pick one up and it should feel firm and hit kind of heavy for its size because you want it to have water in it. Um, and when they get dried out, they aren't quite as heavy for the size. Um, if they have bruises like this one does, like this, you want to be, avoid that because then that becomes a brown spot on the inside. Now when you get them home, and it's hard to tell when an apple is ripe or not because the different brands, I mean the different kinds of apples look different at different times. And you know, and especially these that are two or three colors. So this is a great display. And the, so the basic preparation of an apple is to eat it. You can just take it, wash it, and eat it like it is. The one part that some people are concerned about is the inside the little cave down there that holds your stem, there can be a lot of dirt in there and so you want to wash that out really well. But if you were just going to eat it, you could just take a melon baller and you can just cut that right out and then you don't have that there at all. It's all gone. The same thing on the other end. You just take it and cut it out. This makes it so you don't have to worry if there is anything inside there. Now, the bad thing is, is that this is going to turn brown so you should only do this when you're going to eat it right away. Some people don't like the peel and some people do like the peel. Um, you can strip peel it so that um, you don't have peel in every bite. You can just peel it down the side. You can use your potato, your potato peeler to do that. And then that way when you cut it in half and you cut it in half again for slices, it's all not every place has it. So when you cut it, you have some that have slices with skin and some that would have slices with some skin. Now, how do you get the core out after you get finished slicing? Well, my favorite thing is in melon baller because it's really easy. It's not really sharp and kids can do it for themselves. Is that you just melon ball them out. It also makes it nice and even cut. Um, some people do it all the way down and with a corer, which is this. You just push it down and then they all pop out. And then the core is taken out in the middle and you don't have your seeds inside. Now, the when you cut the apple the other way, if we cut it down this way, you can see the star inside with the seeds. These are called carpels. There's five of them, they make a star and each one has one to three seeds inside of it. The, you should not eat the seeds. They are slightly poisonous for human beings. Um, they're really not very tasty either, so I think that's a sign that we're not supposed to eat them. But this is a way that a lot of people do not slice the apple, and it is harder to slice that way. Okay, for the other, um, when you're also buying it, you get it home, you can leave it on the shelf and the, in, at room temperature until you think it's really ripe. The, um, and once they are ripe, you can put them in the refrigerator and it should be just above 32 so that's in the coldest part of your refrigerator. And when you're putting them in, you can put them in a bag and then try not to have them touch each other. That way they'll stay fresh as long as, but if you have a whole bunch of them, that would be really difficult to do. So just eat them sooner. Um, they keep for about seven to 10 days in the refrigerator. Now apples don't come just raw, although that's one of the most popular ways to get it. Um, they have it in cans, apples, have it for apple, they have applesauce, they have the uh, ready for pie filling, they have juice that's in the freezer or it's on the shelf in the, in the bottles and they mix apple juice with a lot of different fruit juices. So apples are used extensively in, uh, as the other fruit that's in the fruit juices. So read the labels. You can also get them dry. This is a very economical thing to do. This is a great thing to put into food storage. They won't keep real long time, but they're really good for lunches if you want to send your kids with apples for lunch. Um, the other thing that's really nice for lunches is the little packages of applesauce, one serving size. 
Um, you might want to be sure and read the labels. Some have a lot of sugar in them, and if you're worried about sugar, you may want to try the ones that have no sugar. They also have the apple sauce mixed with other fruit sauces. My favorite one is pears and apples together. For the lunch boxes, they now make these little packets, and they have apple slices with peanut butter. This is great for the kids' lunches or for your own lunch if you want to take that. Um, they also make it with caramel sauce, which is a little more sugary. Might want to avoid that, not have that every day. This is the greatest find I found recently with apples. This is in the produce section. They're already sliced, and they have been coated with calcium, and they keep... I kept one of these for two weeks in my refrigerator, and I did it at work and showed everybody that... You know, it can keep for a while, and you can take out a few slices at a time. Now, when I did the price ratio, this cost me $3 a pound, and to buy these fresh cost me $0.98 cents a pound. So this has three, about three apples in here, is what I estimated. But when it came out to the end, that this was actually cheaper. Because when I buy this, I've got the core and the seeds and the ends. When I buy this, all I have is slices, and that's all that's in there. So this is not, this is a good bargain, actually. But you do have to eat it relatively soon because it's fresh apples. Um, you can also cook with apples. You can bake them. You can put them on your chicken. My favorite thing to do with apples is to put them in my turkey when it's the holidays. Uh, it keeps the inside moist, and it has a nice flavor to the meat. Now, the one thing when you are going to be cutting up quite a few apples and you're not going to be eating them right away and it's maybe it's for your salad um, you need to put it into a, a citrus liquid to keep it from turning brown so what I usually do is I usually have three cups of water and then I add one cup of lemon juice to that and then as I slice them I put them in there and it's amazing how much of it, how many apples you can do there before you run out of space The, um, you go to my website and you can get a fact sheet about the apples um, and start enjoying apples. Apples is one of the easiest fruits you can take care of and it lasts one of the longest.